Good day, Mr. Noya Trustees and parents. It is my privilege to welcome you to the Vitanoya family and community. The circumstances this year is very different to previous years. We are unfortunately not able to meet in person due to COVID-19 regulations. I want to tell you a little bit more about Vitanoya. As a resident, we started in 2006 and this year we are celebrating our 50th anniversary. Metanoia is a Greek word that means change of heart and mind and in Metanoia we pride ourselves in the fact that we do things differently. We place the focus on individual freedom and on individual's needs but we also play a, place a big emphasis on building a community. And students are encouraged to partake in the activities that is available to them. Metanoia strives to create an environment where the focus is placed on individual freedom and where we create a community, as I've already said. During the next 10 days, you will experience a welcoming period that will meet the university's criteria of friendliness, human dignity and hospitality. You will experience your Yohako over the next few days as a very enthusiastic group, as well as your mentors, and I can assure you they will make sure that you have an awesome experience. Should you as a first year experience any activity or any incident that doesn't make you feel welcome, you are encouraged to immediately report this to the independent monitor, whose details will be shared with you at the later stage, or as well as to myself as the resident's head. The residents' life are integrated with the academic environment via the cluster initiative where we strive to improve the living and learning experience of our students. Together with our neighbours, Jimsteder, Lorena, as well as the private student ward, Pika and Venusia, we form part of the Rubik's cluster. At Stellenbosch University, we recognise that learning happens in the classroom, but this is no longer the only place where learning happens. Learning also happens outside of the classroom through a structured co-curricular program and as newcomers you are encouraged to seek these opportunities and to partake in it. You no doubt have many questions about how we will adhere to COVID-19 regulations. Be assured that the necessary protocols will be communicated to all residents. There are protocols in place and if a student tests positive we will manage that accordingly. Once again, welcome to the Metanoia family and I hope this will be a truly awesome experience. Thank you. Thank you so much, Karen. Greetings, parents and guardians. My name is Tvani Trayo and I am the Acting Assistant Residence Head for Metanoia Residents. It is unfortunate that we gather in this manner because of the pandemic and how the new norm presented itself to us with the digital space. However, this is also a safe way to communicate with you for the sake of our loved ones, ourselves, and those around us. It is that time of the year where we witness and share the joys and excitement of our newcomers of first years as they enter into a new space of higher education. For some parents or guidance, this might be unusual something to unlearn and make peace with it. Not because you don't want to see your children succeed, but it's the need for you to always protect them, which is completely understandable. But rest assured that the space they are entering is a safe space in various aspects. These include their growth, student success, and there is well-maintained infrastructure, our facilities management through campus security provide us with 24-hour security services around campus. With this said, I want to reassure you that your children will be in our safe, in our safe hands, in our hands, will be safe in our hands, and that they have found a new home at Metanoia, where the future leads. Thank you once more, and have a wonderful year ahead. Thank you, Tulani. Good day, parents, guardians, and family members of our Metanoia newcomers for 2021. My name is Devon Godfrey, and I'm the Primarius of Metanoia for 2021. I work alongside 20 brilliant leaders 
that will ensure that the needs of our newcomers are met. These leaders are called the House Committee. Our role is to see to it that everyone lives by our house values of respect, integrity, diversity, equality, Ubuntu and love. On grounds of these values, we as leaders keep each other accountable and are kept accountable by the house. Given our current circumstances, we all know this is going to be a challenging year ahead. But regardless of what challenges the year might throw at us, I deem it crucial to be able to adapt in any given circumstances. And with this being said, I am excited to see what challenges the year has to offer, and even more excited to see and to guide the newcomers through this challenging and new journey of their lives. Understand that there are so many uncertainties, and you probably have a lot of questions to ask, but one thing that I can 100% assure you is that the safety of each student will be our main priority. We will try our best to give all newcomers an exhilarating welcoming experience, but we will not do so at the cost of anyone's safety or health. I cannot comprehend how difficult it might be for a parent or a guardian to set young adults free into this world. But what I can fully understand is what it means to be set free in metanoia. Metanoia encourages growth through individuality and it molds students into the best versions of themselves. So parents, guardians, I want to assure you that we will take good care of our newcomers and we will do everything in our ability to make sure that they are welcomed and feel home at Metanoia. Thank you. Good day. My name is Abdullah Kurban. I am an honors computer science student and I am standing here today in front of you as the Vice Primarius and Metanoia resident. My portfolios include the safety, security, and discipline within the residence. My role as the House Committee member in charge of discipline is to work in conjunction, in conjunction with the university bodies to ensure that the rules and regulations as outlined by the university are adhered to by all residents within the residence. Through the use of the disciplinary committee within Metanoia, we will ensure that um, any and all transgressions that occur within the residence are dealt with accordingly. My second portfolio is the safety and security in the residence. And safety and security is held as one of, the uh, one of the top priorities within this residence. As the House Committee member in charge of this, um, my aim is to address any and all concerns that students will have um, and to work with them to ensure that these issues are addressed correctly. During the welcoming week, the newcomers will be introduced to the various structures and procedures that the university has in place, which will help to equip them with the necessary knowledge so that they can ensure their own safety throughout welcoming and through their academic careers. Metanoia Residence is equipped with CCT, a CCTV system, which will be used in order to monitor and ensure the safety of the residents. This CCT system, a CCTV system is um, in collaboration with the campus security system. And we have strong um, connections with campus security and we will use those connections um, throughout the course of the year to ensure that safety is upheld within the residence. There is constantly, um, between the hours of 6 p.m. and 6 a.m., there is constantly a guard posted at the front of Metanoia, and this guard is available to assist with any matters that occur within the residence. Furthermore, campus security is available to help with escorting students to and from different study centers on campus, as well as to provide any other sort of help that is deemed necessary. For the past few weeks, the House Committee have um, drafted multiple different policies, procedures, um, different uh, policies and stuff that will be used in order to ensure that any risk of COVID is minimized within this residence. We, these guidelines and regulations that exist will ensure that all your children are in safe hands throughout both the welcoming period and throughout the academic year. And we will communicate all of these in detail and in depth to all students um, in due time. Just to name a few of the restrictions that we will be putting in place, um, at all times, masks will be mandatory in the social setting. Sanitizers will be made available in kitchenettes and in bathrooms and in front of all entrances to the uh, venues inside Metanoia, which will, which will be deemed um, as mandatory to use when entering or exiting these venues. 
strict capacity limitations have been put on the different venues to ensure that there is as little congestion and as and therefore as little risk uh, within the residence. And this kind of plays into the benefits of being in metanoia. Each room is a single room, thus the, the um, possible risks that come with living with someone else are completely nullified. I can say with certainty that we will work to make sure that your kids are safe from any possible COVID risk. It goes without saying that safety is a huge concern for any member of this community, and even more so as a parent of a child of this community. We as, a, we as a house committee will work and are equipped to handle any situation that does arise within this residence, and we will exhaust all our resources to ensure that every resident is kept safe throughout welcoming and throughout the academic year. Thank you. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Malik Ikena, and I am Gihaka of first years in Gihaka of Clutchwood, but I come to you in my capacity as the former. In any given year, the portfolio of newcomers, formerly known as the first year's portfolio, is taken along with the portfolio of welcoming by one of the vice presidents. However, this year, our vice primarius, Abdullah Karbani, chose to take on discipline and safety and security, and our vice primaria took on welcoming, and instead of opting for the newcomer's portfolio, chose international students. This left the newcomer portfolio wide open for the Haka to take. An unprecedented occurrence. The portfolio being tagged with welcoming, if I'm being honest, suppressed the nuances of the task. It was viewed as the newcomer's committee portfolio, which although is the bulk of the job, is an oversimplification of the tasks at hand. The essence of my duties this year is built upon the idea of expanding the portfolio of newcomers. My job is quite similar to that of Reed Biyadi, our Haka of Mentors, and Divine Godfrey, Godfrey, our Prim. Both of them serve essentially as direct links of communication, with the Haka of Mentors being the link between the Haka body and the university to the mentor body, and the Prim a direct link between the university's higher echelon residential leadership and the Haka body and res as a whole. I am the direct link of communication between the entirety of the newcomer group and the Haka body, as well as the university as a whole. As of the taping of the speech, the number of newcomers expected stands at 145, more or less. Although my aim is to have a personal relationship with each of these individuals, I may falter in this regard, purely based on the fact that we are receiving so many newcomers. This is where the newcomer committee steps in. The election of the committee occurs sometime during orientation week, and their biggest duty, the planning of the newcomers done, they also have to take on keeping me on my toes. They will represent each section's newcomers throughout the year. All the complaints and compliments will throw, flow through the newcomers committee onto me. And I also aim to groom the committee as well as the newcomer group as a whole in order to become the leaders of tomorrow. As you can see, ladies and gentlemen, the task at hand is quite massive. And with the times as uncertain as they are currently, I would most certainly understand if there's any apprehension on your part. However, I can assure you, your children are in good hands. The Haka, Mentors and MADCOM have spent the bulk of the last few months thinking about ways of making the newcomers' experience simultaneously fun and safe. And I truly believe we have succeeded in this quest. Please do not hesitate to contact me. My number and email address is on the document Florence sent out recently. Um, if I do not answer your call, I will unfortunately not be able to call back. I have almost no calling minutes left, but I will be sure to leave a few for me. Thank you. Uh, good day to all the Metanoia parents. Firstly, I'd just like to thank you for allowing your child to become part of this family and for trusting Metanoia with your child. I assure you that you have not made a mistake. My name is Reed Beattie and my portfolios include mentors and academics as well as hosting. But it is my mentors portfolio that will be actively part of your child's first year experience in Stanbosch University. Metanoia has 22 amazing and eager mentors, many of which you may meet on the day you move in. The mentor's job description is way more than just the standard dictionary definition. The role of the mentor is to be that friendly face that your child will always depend upon and who is there to be able to fight those many challenges that first year brings. The university offers an exciting initiative known as the BeBall program, which aims to equip your child with the necessary skills to go through first year without any challenges, and to allow your child to grow across all aspects of their physical, emotional, 
mental and spiritual life. Now I understand that most probably many of you are feeling quite uneasy as it could be the first time having your child out of the house and away from home. And trust me, I understand those worries, those fears, those doubts. And I understand the temptations to call your child every day. But trust me when I say this, your child will be okay. I had all the same feelings coming into my first year. As it was the first time away from home, my parents were back in the car tank and I was scared to say the least. But I can say without a doubt that I do not regret a single second of it. I truly did find a home away from home in Metanoia residence. And I have no doubt that with the help of my mental team, your child will be find a home as well. There is a quote that goes by the way that your greatest discomfort lies where also your greatest opportunity lies as well. So without further ado, I ask that you take a deep breath, come in and enjoy the experience. Thank you very much. Good morning, good afternoon, and all good evening to you all, and an enthusiastic welcome to our Matanoa family. We are ecstatic to have you with us. My name is Florence Kuriko, and I'm the Vice Primari of Matanoa. I make up the third component of the Executive Student Leadership Body at Matanoa, exclusively in charge of the Welcoming Program and International Students. I can only imagine the excitement and fear you as parents must be experiencing leaving your children in the hands of strangers far from home. I would like to reassure you that I, as the welcoming coordinator, alongside the leadership body, have created a welcoming schedule that will engrave memorable moments in the hearts of your children, but most importantly, keep them safe at all costs during this COVID pandemic. The welcoming period, simply put, is a life-changing experience. It sets the tone and the foundation for the university experience of newcomer students. And this is not something we take lightly. And thus, we work hard months in advance to ensure that this tone and foundation is conducive to the university life, but also to the social, psychological, and occupational well-being of the newcomers. This creates a space for the newcomers to engage, not only with new and different individuals, but also to learn about the matters and aspects of the university, fundamental to the Stellenbosch University, as well as to Metanoia. It is an opportunity to be challenged, to thrive, to be inspired, to be electrified. I know these are uncertain times, riddled with anxiety and evoking fear and paranoia. So I would like to thank you for being brave and for placing your trust in us to take care and aid your children in their growth and development at this critical juncture in their lives. I hope this video diminishes your worries somewhat and gives you some ease. If not, however, please do feel free and comfortable to contact us by our contact detail. Anything we can do to keep you at ease, we will. Thank you for taking the time and tuning in to listen to the Metano and Leadership. Please do keep in touch, stay well, stay safe, and once again, thank you.